Hey everyone, welcome here, Stephanie Lee Medium, talking about my spiritual journey. And I thought as we go into the holidays that maybe we should talk about shadow work. People don't like that word shadow work because it scares them, but sometimes when we're around our relatives or our loved ones, they can trigger things, they can trigger things in us that maybe we don't really want to feel at times, right? So shadow work is is good at this time of year because you start to see no you might start to notice patterns in your behavior when you're around certain relatives, right? Okay, so this month, November, we're going to do shadow work. We're going to talk about what is shadow work. We're going to, we're going to talk about how do I know if I need shadow work? No, I, I don't think I need it. I don't know. Um what or how will I benefit from doing this shadow work? And then how do I do it? Oh my God, oh my God. Like how do I do my shadow work? So we wanna talk about what is shadow work? Now shadow work is all those parts of yourself that you don't like. The jealousy, the rage, the anger, the guilt, the shame, all of those words that make you kinda of wanna cringe, right? So it's okay. It's really, really okay. We have all those parts in us, whether we want to acknowledge them or not, they are there. And it's not our fault that they're there. We're human, right? We come with all these emotions and we have all of these experiences and we have traumas throughout our lives, right? It's okay. You have to be gentle with yourself. You have to know that, yeah, there's jealousy and shame and guilt and all that icky stuff in you, right? And the whole point of the shadow work is to see, hmm, how can we let that not trigger us and keep us in that trauma mode, right? How can we learn how to just be gentle and forgiving and loving of ourselves and notice when those patterns show up and know what to do when they do show up? So first I'm going to say, if you have some really, really deep, deep traumas from your past, I would say, go see a counselor, you know, go see a counselor. But if you just have some things that are kind of bugging you, maybe you want to do some shadow work, right? Um, and it's not scary. This is not meant to be scary. This is not meant to frighten you in any way. This is just a way for you to become more aligned with who you are right now. Because some of that shadow work is things that have happened in the past right? That you no longer, none of that belief system around that, those traumas is the way you believe right now, right? So let's become more aligned with who we are right now in the moment, right now going forward. Maybe you used to believe something and now you no longer believe it. One of my old beliefs was there is no way in the world that I was going to be happy unless I was married. And that is false for me. That is false. And hopefully it's false for a lot of people because you create your own happiness and I never ever understood that. So I had to go through that shadow work with myself and like, that is just not true. I can be so happy when I'm not in a marriage because I get to go do, and not that you can't do those when you're in a marriage, but there's a little bit more compromise, right? And, I'm, and, and if your partner is willing to just stand by you and let you be who you are, that's even better. But I remember just feeling when I was single, it was like, I get to go do whatever I want, whenever I want, wherever I want, however I want, spend my money however I want, do whatever I want, oh my God, this is so much fun. You know, like that was really, really fun to me. And I still get to do that as well because I have a partner who really encourages me to be this crazy person that you see here, right? Like this wild child that I am, he's fine with that. And he loves that and that's why, you know, he married me. Well, I think that's why he married, but I don't know. <laughs> I always ask him, are you sure you want to be married to the crazy that this is? It's a lot of crazy. Um, so that's kind of what shadow work is. It's all of those things that trigger us. The shame and the guilt. And that's just, that's not fun. Like, oh, I feel guilty over this. Well, is it unhealthy guilt or is it healthy guilt? I mean, what kind of guilt are we talking about here, kids, right? So it's just all of those things that 
we may not want to recognize in ourselves. Like we love to recognize, oh, I'm happy and I'm fun and I'm silly and I'm joyful and you can't be all that all the time. You just, I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. But you can try and stay in that state of mind and you can try and bring yourself back to that state of mind when you are triggered and you know then that, oh, this is a triggering moment. Okay, we're gonna get triggered here. Okay, so let's do some work here. See, I see a pattern constantly. And how can we stop that pattern? And how can we be more loving and gentle and knowing that, okay, that's something from the past or that's something in the future that I am dealing with. And just bring yourself back to that present moment, right? So, I hope this uh, gave you a little bit more understanding about shadow work and I hope that what I'm going to teach you this month will help you to um, be around all those family family and friends and maybe people who do trigger you and maybe you're like, well, I really don't want to go there because uncle so-and-so might be there or auntie so-and-so might be there. But if you can learn what those triggers are and, you know, learn to adjust to that what's happening there maybe it'll make it easier for you i hope that it will all right you guys it's almost the end of the year holy cannoli it's november and then we're going to be december and then it's going to be 2022 which in numerology is number six world year and i cannot wait because the six is nurturing and i'm looking forward to a little nurturing in 2022 for the planet as a whole. It would be nice for us to just feel nurtured for a year. So anyhow, if you would like a reading before the end of the year, if you would like to see if your loved ones are around as we're going through the holidays, please come see my website, stephanieleemedium.com, schedule a reading with me, and get connected with your loved ones. Take care. Bye.